Hello and welcome to the YouTube channel of Kanak Info Systems LLP. And in today's video, I'll be taking you through your ERP Next database and I'll help you set up workflow process. Well, a workflow process allows you to create multiple level of approvals for a particular process. All you have to do is that you need to fill the workflow conditions to enable multiple users to submit their requests for approval. So first you have to go to your settings and in here you have to go to workflow. You have to click on add workflow. Let's give the workflow a situation. Okay, so my situation is that as an employee worked extra hours, he did overtime. And I want to have a workflow on that. I need them to take approval after they have worked extra for the company. So the workflow name would be timesheet OT. Now, on what document? do I need this workflow to be applicable on? Obviously it is for timesheets. Now you have to make sure that you tick is active option here or else this workflow would not be applicable. It is very important that you check this. So I'll click on it. Now I have to select different states and on which this document would exist. So my very first state would be draft. In here I have a very, I have the default draft state. Doc status would be zero. And edit would be allowed for employee. Now I have to add another state that is approval pending by manager. Okay, so let me explain this. Once an employee submits his OT approval request, it first has to be approved by the department manager and then it further goes on to the HR manager since there is a particular hierarchy of the organization. Now it has to go to the HR manager because she or he would have to approve their payroll, their salary slips and they will have to mention that. So the final approval would be from the HR. However, if you have more than two or three um, hierarchical stages in your process, you can add that it is completely as per your requirements. Now this would be for department manager. Then I'll have another row which is approval pending from HR. This would be from HR manager. Then there will be a rejected state if any of the managers reject. So this will go to the employee and then there will be the approved state which will be done by HR manager. Now the transition rules. Now these are the actions that can be used at each stage of approval. The first state would be my draft state. The action would be submit. The employee can submit this. The next stage for this would be approval by manager. So once, so the raw state is draft. Once the employee submits it, the state is then converted to approval pending by manager, department manager. Employee is allowed 
to do this. Then I have approval pending from manager. The action would be approve. Then it will become approval pending from HR manager. This would be allowed for department manager. Same, uh, we'll select the same, but this time the action would be rejected. That what if? The department manager rejects so it uh, it will again come to the draft state now approval pending from hr if hr approves it goes to the approved state And if they reject, this will go to the draft stage again. This will go to the rejected state again. Once you have done this, you have to click on save. So now I have set up a workflow for the OT timesheets. Now I have logged in through the employee ID and I will go and fill my timesheet because I have worked extra. So now I will go and click on add timesheet. If you work for a customer you can mention it here. If you have not, it's not needed. I will select my activity type. Let's say I was planning on 1st of December. Since 2 p.m. Mm -hmm. Since 2 p.m. And I worked on it for about 4 hours. So my total working hours would be 4. And I will click on the save. So now you will notice that it is in a draft state. Now I will click on actions and I will submit it. Now I have logged in from the department manager's ID and uh, now I will go to the request that I have received. Here is one which is approval pending from manager. So I will check on the details and if they are correct I will go to actions and I will approve it if I wish to and if they are not I will reject it. But the state would be changed to approval pending from HR once I approve it. Now once the employee has submitted his request to the manager and the department manager has approved, a notification would be sent to the HR manager which would look something like this. So they would get two button options in the email saying would you want to reject or approve the approval request that has been sent by the employee. Other than that, in here you can see that they also get an attachment the timesheet attachment which contains all of the details that has been filled in the ERP Next database by the employee. Once the HR chooses one of these two options, it will redirect her to the ERP Next website where the database is stored. Other than this, she can also approve the request using her own ERP Next database. Let me show you how. I have logged in through HR's uh, domain and let us see. So this there is one approval which is pending for me. I will check on the details. It is approved by the department manager. I will cross verify if I wish to and if they are right I will click on actions and I will approve. So the state would be changed to approve. If I feel something is wrong I can reject it. So the final approval is given by HR manager in our scenario. However, if you have multiple uh, stages and if you have multiple people working and each of those stages are different, you can set up that as per your requirement and hence your final approval would be decided by the person who, who are at the topmost of that hierarchy.
So let me take you back to the employee ID once again and let me show you how does it look. I am back to my employee ID and let's see what about my timesheet. Was that approved? Yes, it has been approved by both of my managers and I am very much grateful to them. So that was a very easy way through which you can set up your approvals and you won't have to your employees wouldn't have to go from door to door carrying papers and be in the fear that they might misplace them you won't have to deal with it it is very simple in just few clicks you can set up the entire approval process and you can use it efficiently and smoothly it is a cakewalk for every organization so if you like that please like share and subscribe to our channel EIP Next is a deep sea of many such features and with our every next video I'm going to come up and I'm going to tell you how you can use them for your best interests. Thank you.